Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on to this video. And please don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Congratulations again to my giveaway winner. I'm so, so happy for you. I can't wait for you to get your box filled with Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And guys, I cannot wait to do this cremated giveaway for you. The minute I have that palette in my hands, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway on this channel. So make sure you're subscribed and stay tuned. Okay guys, it's finally that time. I am literally just coming off of watching Jeffree Star's brand new launch of his video for his new collection, the cremated collection. And wow, I am beyond ready to give you guys my first impressions. I am so freaking stoked. Let's jump right in. So first guys i don't know if you're a regular here on my channel but i did do a video predicting what i thought jeffrey was going to be coming out with now i was a little bit off because i thought it was going to be a collaboration with marilyn manson but i guess i just picked up on the clues wrong because that's obviously not what it ended up being but i was right about one thing that it's a goth palette and guys it is stunning now it's an exact spin of what i think jeffrey would use as like a neutral goth palette it has everything. It's almost like a grayscale. Like, I feel like it's a very versatile palette. I feel like I was a little bit confused at first from it. Like, I don't know. It wasn't really what I was expecting. It's a very muted palette, in my opinion, in terms of for Jeffree Star Cosmetics. We're used to really bold, bright, crazy things, but I love that he wanted to take a different spin on this one, add a little bit of variety. The whole collection is absolutely beautiful. I love the marbleized packaging. That's another thing we were actually right about. If you look at our original packaging, Ian designed for it to be marble, and he very much went along with that theme. After we saw the green graveyard we were thinking tombstone marble it just kind of all flowed together and so we were kind of close we were kind of close but we weren't quite right i adore this palette guys let's take a better look at it here i think this palette is freaking stunning i love the amount of shimmers we have in here that bottom row of shimmers though has my name written all over it I feel like you can use this palette as an additional palette to any other palette you have from him. You know what I mean? When he was explaining the palette at the beginning, he said that it was going to like really take your makeup game to the next level. And if we kind of look at that and break that down, it does really make a lot of sense because this palette specifically has a lot of different types of toppers in it. Like if we look at that bottom row or a lot of the shimmers, like you could do a look from pretty much any of his other palettes and then take this palette, use a shimmer, put it as a topper and it's like, boom. Guys, I really, really, really love this. Now, am I the only one? The minute I looked at it, the first vibe that I got was the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sultry palette. I feel like because it's so cool toned, because it's so like, almost neutral in a way you know what i mean like it's almost like you could wear this for a wedding like you could it's the perfect smoky eye palette because you have that black in there and all those grays to like build up your gradient and work with and those pops of shimmer like oh my goodness i am freaking in love with this palette guys something that mm, just broke my heart this is only going to be first of all it's available may 22nd so that's going to be next friday but it's only available on jeffreestarcosmetics.com and i have purchased several times off of his website i really really don't like purchasing from it because i'm all the way up here in canada my packages just take so freaking long to come i feel like everyone will have it before i do so i'm kind of bummed about that i really really love purchasing his stuff off of beautylish i find the shipping is amazing like everything comes so fast to me and i actually get that chance to you know get the palette pretty quickly so i can do tutorials for you guys in comparison so i'm kind of really bummed that this time it's not going to be available on any other website except for jeffreestarcosmetics.com i can only anticipate how much this website is gonna crash and all the issues we've had before like I, I am kind of a little nervous but again too bad I am not only gonna get myself this palette I am gonna get one lucky subscriber this palette as well as per usual business as per usual on this channel I'm gonna be doing a giveaway of this new collection so definitely make sure you're subscribed and stay tuned because the minute I have that in my hands I'm definitely gonna be putting that giveaway video up now, something else I wanted to touch on. So I don't know if you guys noticed or were really online, you probably were, but 
As per usual, with this Jeffrey launch, we did get a little bit of negative backlash. So given that it's a very unique time in the world where, you know, a lot of negative bad things are happening, a lot of deaths are happening, a lot of people were a little bit bothered by the name cremated. If we look at the shadow names as well, everything is pretty much derived around funerals and death. But guys, you have to remember that Jeffrey patented this idea in September of 2019. He did not anticipate it coming out during this coronavirus time, but obviously why not go ahead with it? He knows how much we love his cosmetics, how excited we get when he does a launch. Why would we not still want to move forward with it? I totally understand. Like it's a little bit, I do definitely see where people are coming from with their critique of the name and the timing. But honestly, I think it's right on par with Jeffrey. He doesn't really give a crap what people think. He literally just does what he wants to do. And I love him for that. We all love him for that, in my opinion. But yeah, guys, I think this is a beautiful palette, but I want to know what you guys think. What are your thoughts on the names? Like, did you think it was really controversial? Not the right time to release this palette? Would you have held off on it or would you have marched forward? Like, I want to know what you think about his decision making here. Me personally, I'm not bothered by the names. I, it's makeup guys. It's not that deep. Like it's not that deep. I'm not bothered by the names. I feel like the people who get bothered by this kind of stuff just generally get bothered by anything Jeffrey does or anything anyone does really there's always those naysayers in the comments that are gonna have bad things to say in my opinion this is beautiful I think he's so awesome for moving forward with this launch instead of having us wait and be depressed all this time I personally get so excited when there's a Jeffree Star cosmetics launch I know a lot of you do too so yeah guys I'm actually so so happy about this now let's talk about the accessories and the glosses so I actually think these glosses are among my favorite that he's put out I think they're absolutely beautiful the new packaging he has going on ugh, just to die for I don't know if you guys have ever tried Jeffree Star Cosmetics glosses but they're very similar in my opinion to the Mac glosses which I absolutely love they're amazing quality they make your lips look luscious and gorgeous and they literally smell delicious so I definitely think I'm gonna buy at least two of these glosses if you guys want let me know I will include a couple in the giveaway as well if you guys are interested definitely leave me a comment and let me know and what about this makeup bag? I personally think it's beautiful. Don't get me wrong, but I would never purchase a white makeup bag. You guys know, you guys here that wear makeup know how absolutely filthy your stuff gets. Like you get fingerprints all over everything, whether it's color, foundation, concealer, like it gets messy. So I wouldn't necessarily pick a white makeup bag only because you're always grabbing at it. So it's obviously gonna get dirty, but I think the entire collection is absolutely beautiful, but enough of my yim yammering. I wanna hear your thoughts. Let's start a little discussion down below. Did you think he came out with this at an inappropriate time? Are you in love with the color story? Does the color story leave you wanting more? I wanna hear your thoughts. Please, please, please let me know. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this first impressions. I can't wait till I have the palette in my hands and I'm able to do tutorials for you guys, comparisons, everything. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a like if you like this style of video. Please make sure to leave me a comment down below and please don't forget to subscribe. It really helps me out when you guys subscribe and I will catch you on the next video. Bye guys.